you be able to take a picture of me signing the wall? Sure. I don't get a copy of that. Where's it this? You ready? Okay. Yeah. You've been here before? Yeah. Okay, so you know, easiest way to get in and everything else. Just put it backwards. Put it on your butt. Rotate feet first. Rotate around feet first. That's the easiest way to scoot in. There you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here Just the yellow one. Yeah. Alright. Okay. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Alright. What's your name? Mike. Hey Mike. My name's Renee. Nice to meet you. So I'll make sure I don't You're all good. Come on up. There, most of the system's been disabled, so you can't hurt very much. Okay. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell me a little bit about what you done with the shuttle program? Uh, well, uh, started as a board shop uh, technician and and, uh, and a pad technician, and uh, ended up here in the crew module as a spacecraft operator. And uh, we um, we control the ship uh, hands on. We're the high hands, eyes, and ears for the test team when we were launching. Uh, my personal uh, favorite is. Uh, Receiving the orbiter on the runway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, because you have a fully powered vehicle and uh, you only get to drive it three miles an hour, but it's all good. It is a space shuttle. <laughs> it is a space shuttle. Uh, but my primary duties were out at the pad. Um, we would receive the orbiter in the VAB and lift it up and attach it to the tank and SRB, um, and then. Uh, Prep the orbiter for launch it takes about a month, and uh, then I was also a part of the closeout crew, and uh, so we would uh, prep the vehicle, uh, close the hatch. You can also look out here. It's a great view. Yeah, you can only imagine that view in orbit. What are we looking at um, back here? Well, this is the aft flight deck. Um, this is the um, docking system power and motor controls for the Russian docking system. And it's called the ADPS control panel, which is the androgynous peripheral control panel, or androgynous peripheral docking system, that's ADPS. And um, that's just a, uh, a kind of a fancy term for there's one just like it on the space station. It's like uh, sort of like the uh, claw you find out that you pick up uh, animals with. Uh, it basically wraps around another claw just like it and uh, pulls itself together. That's how the docking system basically works. Uh, this is all of your communications. This is the um, attitude directional indicator. And this can be programmed to point in any direction or reference any, any point in space. So. The, it doesn't work like an airplane where the um, it, it's referencing gravity. You can make it reference a point, any point in space. Now, can you just really quick here, while we have some time, tell me a little bit about what uh, we are looking at here on some of these um, displays. Well, uh, a quick two-minute view is this panel right over here is all the cooling for the shuttle, which is one of the most critical systems on the ship. Uh, if we have a cooling problem, that could make them deorbit in uh, less than an orbit um, because the heat load on the vehicle is very great. Over here is all your atmosphere and uh, some of your cooling. Cabin relief, that's for uh, depressurizing the orbiter uh, so that they can do spacewalks. They depressurize to a certain uh, altitude. Um, these are uh, basically the input-output. If you put an input here, this tells you how much you put in and then much, how much gets uh, uh, actually put in. This is your attitude uh, indicator and your horizontal situation indicator. And again, this, this you can make this point at anything and these are the tack in uh, pointers. Those are like uh, buoys in a ship channel. If uh, you're far away fr uh, from them, they're very close together. If you're very close to them, they're almost apart. So you, they, they guide you down a flight path. Okay. And this is uh, our 
GTS display. It's just basically maintenance display. This are some of the uh, ancillary systems, hydraulic APU. Um, you have MPS and ohms. And again, you have the input output. <clears throat> These are the computer keyboards and computer functions here. You can switch the control from one keyboard to another to whatever um, CRT that you wanted to use. So would that be pilot or command? It can go ahead and take control? Yeah, this tells you where which is going to control that little red bar right there. Okay. Now, one question I've always had that I always forget anytime I come on board the flight deck. What are these? These are comm boxes. These are just ground support equipment. These okay. get removed. Uh, these are not part of the ship. These are the comm boxes. Here are the communication boxes that you see either for the pilot, uh, commander, pilot, and there's one over here and one over here. There's actually 11 of them in the in the shuttle. Okay. So, yeah. So these boxes behind the commander and pilot seats are not even brought the, up in these space. These are the space. NASA communication network or the operational communication system. Okay. Yep. And Renee, how long have you um, been on the shuttle program? Uh, almost 30 years. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and any uh, idea of what you're going to move on to once Endeavor is... Well, I have a lot to give back, and hopefully that maybe uh, they will uh, have something for me to do before it's out of my work span. But if not, I'll find something to do. I'm sure that uh, I can... Uh, well, I'm sure with your unique experience doing what you've done, you just won't have a problem. You never know. It's a tough market out there. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for everything that you've done over the last 30 years. Uh, You're welcome. The country's very proud of you and everybody else that's been involved with the program. And I You're say welcome. that on behalf of the rest of the country. We're very proud of all of you. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Yeah. Very much so.